This is a gaming machine. In New Zealand we call them pokies. In the States they're called one-arm bandits or slots. They're simple to use and you can spend up to $2.50 each spin. And you can lose a lot of real money really quickly. Originally they were mechanical machines. You pulled a lever on the side and reels would spin inside. On the old type of mechanical machine, the reels that you see here would determine whether you won or lost. The new modern pokies, these reels don't decide whether you win or lose. As soon as you push that button, that decision's made for you. These symbols are there to give you an impression that you've almost won. In some places, they give you winning combinations above and below the pay line to make you think that more clearly. In New Zealand, that's illegal. You still get the same effect, though, by having interruptions in the pay line here so that you think that, oh, OK, I just need to fill in the number of kings and I'll, I'll have a, a winning combination. The heart of this machine, if it really has a heart, is a random number generator. This random number generator is making calculations at computer speeds all the time as soon as you've pushed that button, the decision whether you win or lose is already made. There is no connection between these symbols and the chance of winning. If we open a machine, you can see that there's actually very little inside here. You can see the screen is just like a TV screen. There's no reels, it's just pictures on a TV screen, wallpaper. The random number generator is over here with the electronics. That's the part that determines whether you win or lose. You can plead, you can stroke the machine, you can wear your lucky socks, but the random number generator, it's just a circuit. It doesn't know what you're doing and it's not affected by anything that you do. All poking machines in New Zealand are monitored electronically. This provides us with a lot of useful information. One of those pieces of information is what is called the return to player amount. What this is, is the amount that is returned to the player. In New Zealand, this is set at 87% and above. But what the electronic monitoring system tells us is that the real return to player ratio is actually something less than 58%. And how that works is that any wins that the gambler gets just get credited to this number up here. And it's just a number. So what happens is the gambler keeps gambling until that number's all gone. So the gambler will walk away from the machine having had a theoretical return to player ratio of 87%, but they'll walk away with nothing. We see a lot of people. We notice a lot of differences between the gambler and the problem gambler. One of the biggest differences we notice is that when gamblers win, they tend to uh, leave with their winnings. Problem gamblers keep on gambling. That's when the statistics kick in. The longer you gamble, the more you lose. It's just as simple as that. If you're gambling to win money because you need it or to cope with problems, you're already on a slippery slope. Most importantly, if you choose to gamble on a pokey machine, remember that you're choosing the particular kind of gambling that gets the most people into the most trouble. So what we've tried to do is give you a little bit of information about pokey machines and how they work. But if you want more information about this, go to our website. There's a whole lot more available there.